Hello, that's Jack here at Bake with Jack answering your bread making questions. Next week, I'm going to show you how to knead bread dough, but this week, probably more importantly, I'm going to tell you about why we do it in the first place. So, yeast makes the bubbles in the dough. I spoke about that a couple of videos ago on yeast. If you didn't see it, check it out. Um, yeast makes bubbles. Gluten is inside of the flour, and gluten inside of the dough gives our dough the ability to hold all the gas produced by the yeast. So, people talk about gluten as if they are elastic bands. Hundreds and thousands of elastic bands inside of our dough, knitting the whole thing together. Now, at the beginning of our dough, all those elastic bands are really short and really tight, and with a little bit of physical work, which is our kneading, the elastic bands become longer and more stretchier and stronger, giving our dough that strength. Okay, so when the yeast makes those bubbles, hundreds of thousands of bubbles inside, all the outside of the bubbles, the skin of those bubbles, which is our dough, is nice and strong, allowing those bubbles to get nice and big, and our doughs get nicely aerated and puffy, making our dough, uh, our bread, nice and light. If we didn't need the dough or we didn't give it enough work. Um, the structure is going to be too weak. Yeast is going to start making bubbles, but the structure will be too weak to hold it, so it might collapse, or it most definitely collapse too soon before it's reached that point of aeration that we want um, to be really nice bread. Um, it's a little bit like when you puff up a balloon. Give it a good old stretch before you puff it out and it gets bigger. And uh, if you don't do that at home, what are you doing? Just give it a stretch, puff it up, balloon gets much bigger. The moral of the story is put the work in. It's so much better uh, if you do. It doesn't take long. Just put some music on, hang out, chill out, work your dough nicely in a nice rhythm that you're happy with, uh, that you're comfortable with, and your dough, your bread, will thank you for it after. Thank you so much for watching this. Next week, I'm going to show you how I like to knead the dough and develop that gluten really nicely. If you like this video, please click like. If you've got a question of your own, pop it underneath. What are you waiting for? And if you don't want to miss it next week, click subscribe and you won't miss a thing. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week. Seriously. Thank you for watching my video. Uh,